Hi, this is Gavin with a overdue update of my football shirt collection. Um, I had a few requests to add some more and add another video, put another video up, so I'm going to honour that and thanks for the support. So, starting off, we have a Manchester United jersey. Um, it's the third jersey from last season, the away from the season before, something like that. They've used it for the last couple of seasons. It's actually brand new with tags on here, no name on the back, but I'm looking to put somebody on there, Skulls maybe, Rio, I'm not sure. 2002 um, Korean jersey from their home World Cup or joint host World Cup, the one where they ran out of, Nike ran out of uh, purple, excuse me, purple, red um, dye to make those jerseys because they were so popular and just went the streets. Um, I have another one of these jerseys you've seen in another video. It's a Japanese um, jersey from 2004, 2006, but this one has a name and number. It's number 20 Morimoto on the back there. A very popular jersey. I really love the sponsor showing that they give money to an organization rather than taking money from a company as a sponsorship. Barcelona uh, from 2010-2011 very successful team at the time, very successful team now. I have Borussia Mönchengladbach from the Bundesliga 96-97 Reebok jersey, no name and number. This is um, Alianza Lima. I actually wore this to a Galaxy game for some reason. Similar colors and Anyway, there was a few Peruvian fans at Galaxy Game, they like this. This is from 03-04. Big fat sponsor in the back and a huge collar on it. Throwback jersey for the Cosmos, not sure of the year. Um, but made by Umbro, really nice jersey. Go from a really nice jersey to a pretty ugly one. I think one of those 3D puzzle things, so 3D magic eye, like you see a sailboat. Um, but Northern Ireland away jersey from 1990-91. Got this super cheap, <laughs> that's why I have it, so. And we have, um, the, the, the club actually sent me this jersey. Uh, it's match worn from Vasco da Gama, 96, between 96 and 98. This is a club club direct jersey. They sent me this. Osano sponsorship. Really valuable rare jersey now. Um, from France '98, South Africa's South Africa's jersey. Hard to find, and when you find it, it's really expensive. I found it a little cheaper, which is great. So, talking of rare jerseys, we have a West Germany jersey. Um, somewhere between 88 to 90. Uh, there's a few differences with this one. The color is different, um, but from looking on the inside label here, it's an authentic one by Adidas, but it's the, uh, let me make that out, but it's the Japanese version of the, of the jersey. It's all Japanese washing directions but made by Adidas all the same. <clears throat> and there was a number on the back, number five, that sort of faded but you can see it with the light so I'd like to find out more about that jersey. And we have, um, I may have featured this in a video before, um, this is uh, 2010 World Cup jersey of Japan. Um, I got it blank but I had it made up in all the official printing, that is printing at the time, it actually still has the tags on here, um, for the late great Japanese defender Naoki Matsuda, number three. We have a Taipur FC from the Thai Premier League, actually I think they were relegated this season, but this is from either last season or the season before and soon to be Manchester United's sponsor on the back there, so. Um, I may have featured this in a video before, but this is Bolton Wanderers home jersey from last season. And dedicated to the man, number six, Fabrice Mwamba. If you're not sure who that is, go check it out. 
2010 World Cup England jersey, the away version, with their one 1966 win World Cup star. It's kind of hidden in red stitching. Uh, 2011, 2012 um, Inter Milan jersey. So last season, home jersey. Yeah, so we have Thai Premier League again, Surcha FC, really comfortable jersey. This FBT Thai brand make really, really nice jerseys. Nice uh, official logo down the bottom there as well. Really cool.